paper lovers, welcome by a new YouTube video for Hip Kid Club. It's Josephine here with a new process video and it's Mixed Media Monday. So I want to use the uh, June color kit of the Hip Kid Club 2021. And I already cut a circle with my spell binder out of white cardstock and I want to make a cloud background on this circle using the blue colored angel eyes nubo mousse i'm using my blending applicator for it to blend the clouds um, uh, on my background circle background and i put a little bit of nubo mousse uh, and mix it with a little bit of water and i splattered uh, around with uh, using my brush I love the cloud background that I made on the circle and I decided to make a cloud background on my scrapbook page too. So I'm using the same color of the Nouveau Mousse and using my blending tool applicator and gently I uh, apply the Nouveau Mousse on my background and so I make a cloud background with my Nouveau Mousse. Um, after this video I decided to make some uh, made uh, extra content uh, and explain a little bit more about Nouveau Mousse, how I use the Nouveau Mousse and we take a closer look. So stay tuned! done with my stencil and the Nouveau Mousse and the blending on my background so I made some splatters with the Nouveau Mousse and I mixed the Nouveau with a little bit of water and I splash around with my uh, brush. You can easily mix your Nouveau with uh, water because it's water based so that's not a problem. Um, for now um, for this page I uh, used uh, some bunches of butterflies and flowers and the clouds that I cut out uh, with uh, the clouds of the stencil uh, from the Hipkit Club and I made uh, a bow um, and of course um, I uh, used the June kits for this layout and I already cut some design papers to size roughly the edges and put it behind the photo of my daughter in the swimming pool. I cut um, with my the, the, the circles with my spell bender I cut them in half and place it behind my photo and now I'm um, searching for some die cuts from the pink fresh collection happy blooms and um, uh, I want to layer my um, flowers behind the photo and I want to make some clusters with it and I'm using some edge shave tape um, to put everything uh, in place on my Facebook page. Um, so now I'm decorating my uh, page with all the flowers and die cuts. I stitched the butterflies with some golden treats and um, they are very cute because I cut them out from the design paper from the June kit and I used the Valium from the cardstock kit and uh, I stitched them together with some golden treats. Here I punched out some flowers out of the Valium 
and give it a little touch of Nufo Glimmer uh, Mousse. Uh, it's, uh, the Nufo Mousse is very shiny and I love the shine on the Valium. So uh, it's a great way to um, make your paper flowers uh, more festive. And um, I put everything um, together with some edge shift tape. These clouds that I cut out from the white cardstock and using my stencil for that and it really gives a, a, a great a 3D look and um, I love layers in my layout so it's these clouds are really popping out of my scrapbook page and I love it so here I'm decorating my page further and i not sure I wanted to use this circle on the other side, um, the other half uh, from my spellbinder. Um, it's a little bit of puzzling with all the die cuts, uh, how, I wanted, uh, how I want these die cuts on this swivel page. But at the end, in the end we're getting there and uh, I made a cluster uh, from um, die cuts and a twix that I punched out uh, with uh, some metal dies. Here I decided to using my sewing machine to stitch my clouds with some dark blue treat, uh, sewing treat. So uh, I um, use my sewing machine and stitch several times through my clothes and I, when I'm ready with the stitching I place them on my layout and I, the stitching effect it gives a very very great uh, look on the scribble page and I love stitch uh, stitched elements in your in scribble pages so uh, I definitely um, I'm definitely happy with the, the result of my um, clouds so here I'm using a butterfly uh, beside uh, my uh, black and white photo for my daughter and the twigs and the leaves I Cut out with some metal dies. I give them a spot um, on this layout. flowers I um, made from my punches and the volume I place them under my clouds and uh, I choose for a smaller butterfly from uh, the May June kit and I love these butterflies they are very shiny uh, from volume and the color are uh, dark blue and they this butterfly is a perfect match for this layout and of course the um, 
bows uh, i love bows and these are fabric bows so um i love this bow on this layout and i love the colors and the fabric is great so i'm very happy that uh, in this tune kit are different um, a package of different bow sets of bows and i um, am very happy with these bows so um here i stitch uh, another a butterfly uh, with golden treats and give them a a spot on this scrapbook page and the volume i love using volume in my scrapbook pages because there it gives um, your die cuts uh, more dimension and uh, i like it very much so here i cut out um, some um, twigs uh, for the title on uh, the side of this scrapbook page and it will be the big um, Car stock a tie uh, word fresh. And I like to place part of my title on the side of my layouts, so it gives a very uh, it gives a playful effect. So uh, the title of this layout will be Fresh Summer Days because she um, is into the pool uh, for cooling down on hot summer day. So, and um, all the blue um, is a very uh, the blue and the yellow colors um, blends very um, well with each other and it gives a very fresh look. So the new bow moves, uh, the yellow and the blue colored nouveau mousse and it's a very fresh um, combination so that's the perfect word for this layout fresh summer days here i split her a little bit around with the nouveau mousse with the yellow colored uh, nouveau mousse and i mix it with a little bit of water and make some splashes on my scrapbook page Here I'm adding a little bit of extra blue splatters with the nouveau mousse that I mixed with a little bit of water and splashing around with my brush. And I do this also with the white acrylic paint that I mix with water and um, make some white passive splatters on my scrubble page. So normally I want to thank you for watching this video, this process video. Uh, but I promise you uh, that there will be some extra content uh, how I use uh, my nouveau mousse and different techniques uh, and a little bit more close up on how I use my nouveau mousse so here are the close ups from my scribble page and um, now we're going to the process video that i promise you um, so um let's get started in the june uh, kit, color kit there are two piece um two uh, colors of nouveau mousse and the colors are angel eyes the blue one and the lemon sorbet is the yellow one and we start with the angel eyes and we color it using a cloud stencil and my blending application tool and we make some cloud backgrounds on my uh, on a white piece of cardstock card and i love how you can make your own uh, backgrounds your cloud backgrounds on a card for card making or of course for scrapbooking and um it blends very well and is a little shimmer in these nouveau mousse and i like the shimmer of it so um yes i'm very happy with the result and um here i draw some clouds um and i'm using um the cutout of the stencils uh the cloud stencil from the june kit, color kit 
and I cut the clouds out with my scissor and I get them a color using my blending application tool and the blue colored nouveau mousse. I love the blending effect of the nouveau mousse on my clouds that I cut out from my white cardstock and I love the shimmer of these clouds so definitely one of my fave. Uh, here I'm using a cut pearl from the April um, hip kits and I'm using my blending tool for one side of the stencil and on the other side I'm using my spatula and I added the nouveau mousse uh, on the stencil. Uh, very important is to clean your stencil uh, right after you use them because when the nouveau mousse it, it will dry it's a little bit hard to remove it from your stencil so um, the result of using a blending tool of a spatula you see here when you use your blending tool it's flat on the, on your cardstock and when you use your spatula there is um, a effect a 3d effect on your page so this is a uh, the difference of using a blending application of a spatula. Here I made some splatters with my uh, uh, nouveau mousse uh, using my uh, brush and um, I add some water uh, through to my nouveau mousse and I'm splashing around using my brush and I like the result of the splatters on my page so let's take a closer look of the these splatters and I'm I'm very happy how uh, bright they are and uh, the color of, uh, of the, the splatters and I love how they turn out on this uh, this page so um, here I punched out a flower with my uh, punch uh, from um, white cardstock and I punched uh, a flower out of volume and I will give my volume a little blue color by using my nouveau mousse and my blending applicator and slightly I uh, colored the volume uh, light blue and the white cardstock I colored, I uh, give them a color, a yellow color, uh, with my blending uh, tool, and um, with the stencil from the April kit and my spatula, uh, I added some nouveau mousse, and here you see the effects uh, of the um, nouveau mousse, a little bit of 3D effect on the flower, and I like that. So here I add um, the volume flower into the uh, on top of the cardstock flowers that are already cut out with my punch or that I already punched out with my punch and I made some splatters uh, with the nouveau mousse and I like the effect of it. And of course you can make watercolors of your new mousse and add it on your background. So I hope you get some great ideas and I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to check the Facebook group of the Hip Kid Club for more beautiful inspiration. And of course I wish you a beautiful and crafty day and I hope to see you next time on YouTube. For now, bye bye.